This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the winter edition of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. We have four teams ready to go in competition for this show. You're going to see first St. Mary's take on Delphus Jefferson, and then a little bit later, Lima Central Catholic will compete with Patrick Henry. We want to introduce you to our players now. Joining us from St. Mary's, we have Jacqueline Lunds, Taylor Fisher, Joseph Fargo, and Luke Schlomer. And St. Mary's is coached by Chad Dahl. Welcome to all of you. All right, moving over now to Delphus Jefferson. Joining us is Aaron Stant, Lexi Carpenter, Sarah Zoller, and Megan Rehm. Delphus Jefferson, coached by Joshua Vasquez and Marissa Schimmler. Welcome to all of you. All right, you know the drill now, right? First uh, round, 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Please speak up as loudly as you can. Make your answers as complete as possible, and let's have some fun. So here we go. Question number one. Name the handheld board on which an artist mixes colors. Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Pellet is correct. Who was the 22nd and 24th president of the United States? Yes, St. Mary's. Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland is the answer. What is the largest island in the Caribbean Sea? Yes, Delphus. Cuba. Cuba is correct. Question number four in this game. Which country beginning with the letter J is made up entirely of islands? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Japan. Japan is correct. Who wrote the epic poem, Odyssey? Yes, St. Mary's. Homer. Homer is the answer there. Number six, what passenger ship sank on its maiden voyage in April? Yes, St. Mary's. The Titanic. Titanic is correct in 1912. All right, question number seven. Vulcanization is the process done Yes, St. Mary's. Rubber. Rubber is correct. All right, three questions remaining in this first round. Along what two countries' coast does the Riviera extend? All right, time is up. The answer, France and Italy. All right, two questions here. Who invested the cotton gin in 17... Yes, that would be Delphus Jefferson. Eli Whitney. You are correct, Eli Whitney. And you're on the board. All right, question number 10. How many letters are used for Roman numerals? Yes, Delphus. Six. Six is incorrect. All right, St. Mary's, you've got a chance here. Yes, seven. Seven is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first round. Here's our score. St. Mary's with 70 points, Delphus Jefferson with 20. We'll be back with the final two rounds right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you. And by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back, everyone. We are moving into our second and third rounds of our game between Delphus Jefferson and St. Mary's. Here's our score right now. St. Mary's, you have 70 points. Delphus Jefferson with 20. That means, St. Mary's, you are going to be leading this round with five questions. They are all yours, worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers. All right, question number one. Everybody ready? Who assassinated President Abraham Lincoln? Yes. John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes Booth is correct. With what did Jesus feed the 5,000? Yes. Um, loaves and fish. Loaves and fish is correct. 
All right, question number three. Name the island group situated in the U.S. St. Lawrence River. All right, time is up. The answer is Thousand Islands. Okay, two questions remaining in the second round. Who was the second man to step onto the surface of the moon? Yes. Buzz Aldrin. We will accept that Buzz Aldrin is correct. And your final question in this round. In which country is Kipling's The Jungle Book mainly set? We cannot take your answer. The buzzer rang first. The answer is India. All right, turning over to Delphus Jefferson now for your five questions. Everybody ready? All right, please buzz in with your answers. According to the proverb, all roads lead to where? All right, time is up. The answer is Rome. Question two, which U.S. state is famous for the peach? Yes, Georgia. Georgia is correct. What is the fastest creature on two legs? Yes. An ostrich. Ostrich is correct. All right. Where is your sartorius muscle? Yes. Leg. Could you be more specific? Yeah. That is incorrect. It's the thigh that we're looking for. All right, here's your final question, round two. What is the boiling point of water in Celsius degrees? 100 degrees Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius is correct. All right, we've come to the end of round two. Here's our score. St. Mary's 85, Delphus Jefferson, you have 35. Again, this round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Here's question number one. Whose maxim is nothing can be certain except death and taxes? Yes, St. Mary's. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin is the answer. All right, number two. In what national park is Old Faithful Geyser? Yes, that would be Dolphus Jefferson. Yellowstone. Yellowstone National Park is the answer there. All right, number three. What phrase refers to lines around the eyes? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. Crow's feet. Crow's feet is correct. Who invented the cotton gin? Yes, St. Mary's. Eli Whitney. Eli Whitney is correct. Many Amish speak a dialect of what country's language? Delphus? Germany. Germany is the answer there. All right, question number six in your game. What is the capital of Florida? Yes, Delphus? Tallahassee. Tallahassee is correct. All right, you have four questions remaining in this game. Which dam is on the state boundary of Nevada and, yes, Delphus? Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam is correct. What is the cube of the number eight? St. Mary's. Um. All right, you've got a chance to answer this one, Delphus. Two. That is incorrect. The answer is 512. All right, two questions remaining now. What is a fedora? Yes, that would be Delphus. A hat. A hat is the correct answer. And here's your final question in the game. In what year was the Declaration of Independence created? Yes, Delphus? 1776. You are correct, 1776. All right, we've come to the end of our game. And we have a tie. Wow, St. Mary's, Delphus Jefferson, both with 105 points. Wow, you guys came from behind there, <laughs> didn't you? All right, is everybody ready? This is sudden death. Whoever answers the question correctly will win the game. All right, I gotta get myself organized here. Hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. 
question, sudden death for the winner. What water animal produces 650 volts of electricity? Yes, that would be Delphus Jefferson. The electric eel. The electric eel is the answer. All right, we have come to the end of our game. Between Delphus Jefferson and St. Mary's, we have a winner in sudden death. The score, St. Mary's 105 points. Delphus Jefferson, you're the winners with 115. Congratulations. St. Mary's, an impressive showing once again this year. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back with our next game right after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, lots of excitement in the studio right now. We just wrapped up a really tight game. It came down to sudden death between St. Mary's and Delphus Jefferson High Schools. Delphus Jefferson came up the winner. They will be moving on to take on the winner of this game now between Lima Central Catholic and Patrick Henry High Schools. We want to introduce you to the players joining us now from Lima Central Catholic. We have Sam King, Quentin Potempa, Daniel Sikoski and John Schreenan. Lima Central Catholic is coached by Nancy Sikoski and Edmund Mishakevich. All right, turning now to Patrick Henry, Andrew Neese, Nathan Bosselman, Nicholas Bosselman, and Neil Jakeway. And Patrick Henry is coached by Rick Fricky. Welcome back to you gentlemen. All righty, here we go. We have 10 questions in this round. 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready. They're so important. We are finding out and make sure that your answers are as complete as possible and speak up with your answers, all right? Here we go. Question number one. Which country's flag has a maple leaf in the center? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Canada. Canada is the answer. Who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Patrick Henry. Michelangelo. Michelangelo is correct. In what building is Charles Dickens buried? Lima Central Catholic. Museum of Natural History. That is incorrect. Patrick Henry, you want to try? Yes. Buckingham Palace. That is incorrect. The answer is Westminster Abbey. All right, number four. Who was the last Major League Baseball player to bat 400? Yes, Patrick Henry. Ruth. Babe Ruth is incorrect. Lima Central Catholic, you want to try? Ty Cobb. Ty Cobb, also incorrect. Ted Williams is the answer there. All right, question number five. Name the racetrack where the Indy 500 takes place. Yes, Patrick Henry. Um, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. That is the correct answer. All right, number six. What is the value of the Roman numeral L? Patrick Henry? 50. 50 is the answer. All right, in what month is the Earth closest to the sun? Yes, Patrick Henry. July. July is incorrect, LCC? Jan. That is also incorrect. January is the answer. All right, three questions remaining in round one. Bastille Day is celebrated, yes, Patrick Henry. France. France is correct. Two questions remain, round one. Outside which city did Greek soldiers leave a wooden horse? Yes, Patrick Henry. Troy. Troy is the answer. And here's your final question. Who was the first American to orbit the Earth? Patrick Henry. John Glenn. John Glenn is the answer. 
Okay, we've come down to the end of our first round. Here is our score. Patrick Henry with 70 points. LCC, you have yet to get on the board. So, um, Patrick Henry, this is your um, five questions. These are your five questions with five points apiece. Please ring in with your answers. What do you call a time span of 1,000 years? Yes. A millennium. Millennium is correct. The Dewey Decimal System is used to categorize what? Yes. Books. Books is correct. AG is the chemical symbol for which element? Silver. Silver is the answer. In which Dickens novel is the artful dodger? Yes. Yes. Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist is correct. And here's your final question, round two. What natural phenomena are measured by the Richter scale? Yes. Earthquakes. Earthquakes is correct. Very good. All right. We've come to the end of the second round for you guys, but moving over now to Lima Central Catholic for your five questions. Who succeeded President McKinley after he was shot? Yes. Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. Niagara Falls are located on which river? Yes. Niagara River. Niagara River is the answer. Which is the largest city in the largest state? Yes. San Francisco. That is incorrect. Anchorage, Alaska is the answer. All right, two questions remaining in round two. What type of surgeon deals with joints, bones, and muscles? Yes. Orthopedic surgeon. Orthopedic is the answer. And here's your final question in round two. What civilization lived in the, cent in the city of Machu Picchu? Yes. The Inca. Inca is incorrect. It's the Aztec. That, I'll tell you what, we are going to take a break. We'll check on that and be back for the third round right after this break. <laughs> Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by The Union Bank Company, committed to you. And by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we do have a correction to make. Um, Lima Central Catholic, your last question in round two was correct. Um, what civilization lived in the city of Machu Picchu? And it is the Inca. So we are moving on now to our third and final round. And um, these again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready. Is everybody set? All right, here we go. Question one. What does the Latin phrase caveat emptor mean? All right, time is up. The answer is let the buyer beware. Question number two. What European capital lies on the Vistula River? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Madrid, Madrid is incorrect. Lima Central Catholic. Yes. Moscow. That is also incorrect. It's Warsaw, Poland. All right, question three. In the Bible, who was the father of Isaac? Yes, LCC? Abraham. Abraham is correct. Which hormone controls the supply of sugar between muscles? Yes, Patrick Henry. Insulin. Insulin is the answer. In humans, what connects the calf muscles to the heel bone? Yes, Patrick Henry. Ligaments. That is incorrect. Lima Central Catholic, you want to try? The Achilles tendon. tendon. Yes, I heard an echo, but you are correct. The Achilles tendon is the answer. All right, question six. Before becoming vice president, Al Gore was a senator from which state? Yes, Patrick Henry. Kentucky. Kentucky is incorrect. LCC, do you want to try it? Yes. Florida. 
Florida is also incorrect. Tennessee is the answer. All right, number seven. What is the sum of the interior angles of a triangle? Yes, Patrick Henry. 180. 180 is the answer. What kind of bridge is the Golden Gate Bridge? Yes, LCC. Suspension bridge. Suspension is the answer. All right, two questions remaining in this game. What A word means a group of islands? Yes, that'd be Patrick Henry. Archipelago. Archipelago is the answer. And your final question in this game. Which illness wiped out thousands of people across Europe? Yes, Patrick Henry. The Black Plague. Bubonic Plague is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Lima Central Catholic and Patrick Henry. Here is our final score. LCC, you had 50 points. Patrick Henry, you're moving on to the semifinals with 135. Congratulations. LCC, thanks for joining us this year. We want to thank you at home for playing along. We'll see you back here next week. Until then, have a great one. Bye-bye.